In today's video, I'm going to show you how to be a VTuber with VC Face. VC Face is 100% free and it's just amazing. It's so good. And I really recommend anybody to try it. This program will answer anyone's question on what is the best VTubing program out there. My name's Anubis Lives. I upload here on YouTube every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I also stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. PST. On this YouTube channel, I upload videos regarding VTubing and, well, things I've learned on Twitch, so my little different Twitch tips and tricks. So if any of that interests you, please smash that like button. Leave a comment down below ideas for future videos or what you thought about this video. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers on YouTube by the end of 2021. So if you can be so kind to smash that subscribe button, that'd be great. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is head to our fancy pantsy Google. We're going to type in V C face. Once there, we're just going to hit the download and it's going to bring us right to the download page. We're going to click download. It's going to download to the downloads folder in my documents. So let's jump to that right now. Okay. So now we're at the downloads folder. What we're going to do is just going to right click extract here. Wait for it to extract. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. So for VC face, if we delete this folder, it's just going to go. The whole program is going to go. The application just, it, it's portable. You can run it anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy it. We're going to cut it actually. Head down to local desk C. We're just going to paste it in here. So it cannot be deleted whatsoever. Now that it's in the local desk C, we're just going to click on it. We're going to right click on the program, send to then desktop. So we have a nice little shortcut on the desktop itself. Let's close that and run the application. Now, the coolest thing I like about this program, it actually gives you a step by step tutorial to set it up on OBS. So all you got to do is click next, do every single little thing it tells you to do. This, this tutorial is just the best thing. Not even Luffet has something like this. And that program is around $60 Canadian. And this one's free. Okay. Now that we have the application open, let's start our VC face setup guide. Right now we got the default avatar, but let's just use our own. We're going to hit add avatar. We're going to go to the file location where it's saved. And we're just going to hit open. Now that we have it open, we're going to just click it and then hit start. Now you're, Avatar has to be in VRM format, just like on Luppet. Programs like this will need VRM in general, so make sure it is all set up in VRM. Now, if you're not gonna be using any Leap Motion with VC face, you're pretty much done, ready to go. You're, you're, you're good. But we're gonna use Leap Motion, so let's get that set up. To set up our Leap Motion, we're just gonna do the easy peasy little thing. We're gonna hit settings. Leap motion settings. We're going to make sure position is attached onto chest. Now, right now, we should have a little leap motion somewhere on the screen, but I don't see it anywhere. So let's put our arm. Let's see. Oh, God. Something's wrong. Our height is way too high. So let's just move our height meter. There's a little leap motion guy. Position, I think, is pretty much good. We can wave. That's normal. That works. Yeah. Leap motion now works beautifully if you guys have any problems i would suggest just play around with these settings a little bit if you can't figure it out feel free to contact me on discord links from my discord are down below or if you want to get hit me up on twitter or instagram again links for those are down below so a quick little snippet on why i have my leap motion attached to my chest so when you have your leap motion on the keyboard area flat on the desk, it doesn't detect the hand movement as well. But if you have it attached to your chest, it really detects the hand movement really, 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 really well. So what I would suggest if you can't print out because you don't have a 3D printer, the, the clip for it, 
I would just highly suggest you go to the dollar store, buy a dollar clip, a uh, dollar hot glue gun, and just attach them that way. No, you're not going to wreck your elite motion. I've done it. As you can see from my picture, it's now up. It works great. It's cheap. And uh, give it a shot. Some cool neato settings that not even Luppet has. Well, let's find them. Settings, general. We can set up auto blinking, which is great. Synthetic gaze, which is kind of cool. But expression detection. This means we won't have to hit anything our keyboard to change expressions. Let's hit simple and see what happens. Yep, it's working. I'm smiling, but kind of stuck on smiling. Nope, we good. We good now. One thing I will let you know though, is if you're wearing glasses like I am, the camera might have a hard time detecting the emotions on your face. So if you have the ability to not wear glasses at the keyboard like I do, just take them off and then it could track your expressions far, far better. So let's check the other expression settings though. We got settings, let's go back down to general. We got the experimental expression detection. I highly suggest you set this up and follow the tutorial. The tutorial actually opens up onto a YouTube page created by the VC face people. So I highly suggest you at least try it, see what happens and see if it actually works. But with all these settings in general, I just suggest that you maybe play around with them. If something doesn't work, you could always just hit factory reset. Okay, so now let me show you how to use VC face in OBS. Okay, so now that we're in OBS, let's add our VC face to OBS. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit the little plus button Head down to game capture. We're going to type in VC face. We're going to go to mode. We're going to change mode to specific window. Window, we're going to choose VC face. And now that we selected VC face, we got to make sure we hit allow transparency. And that will take out the background on your avatar. After that, we're just going to hit okay. We're going to move our VC face up. Look at that. There we are. But wait, you're like Anubis. There's a whole bunch of crap on the screen. How do I take it off? Well, that's simple. Let's open up VC face. We're going to drag it down to our main screen. Full screen it. We're going to hit this little button, bottom right hand side. All those little checkers, which you probably will see on the program itself, but not in here. I don't know. We're gone. We can now adjust VC face to fit into whatever position. And well, everything now works perfectly. We can wave, we can say hi. We got a whole bunch of area that we can cover with our hands. That's pretty much it. That's it. That was our VC face setup in OBS. Now that I've shown you how to use VC face, what are your thoughts about it? Do you like it? Did it work? Did it help? Did it not help? Leave me a comment down below on your thoughts on VC face itself. And now that you watch this VC face tutorial, consider sharing it with your friends, your fellow VTubers, and see what their thoughts are on it. And maybe it'll help them out too. Again, my name's Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So come on by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, VTubing, YouTube, whatever. And well, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.